What's up, people? It's your man, Urban Lover, coming from your mama's basement, baby, sipping on some wine, sitting back, watching the summer league, you know, watching the boys go off. You know, I, I want to just say a couple things real quick, and I'm going to do, I'm going to try to do a video after every game, you know, to give you guys the opportunity to get into the comment session and discuss, you know, what you're seeing for those who didn't get to see the, uh, the summer league games. Just one thing I want to say, when we first started off, man, it looked good. The only flaw at the beginning was actually Russell. He had a couple bad passes. He got stripped a couple times. You know, he was a little bit out of control. But once he settled down, the dude was like just just rolling. I mean, he was just, he had to he he scored freaking 15 points, and I think in the second quarter, and and, and freaking New Orleans just scored 12 or 13. So he outscored the New Orleans Pelicans team in the second quarter totally by himself. Um, a Brown, man, he was real aggressive. I mean, uh, the dude looked better than he did last year. I mean, like I said, it's only one game. I ain't gonna get too hyped, but I just want to give y'all a little recap. He looked it pretty good. Um, he played good D. Matter of fact, all of them played good D. The only, the only downfall I've really seen, like I said, is uh, DeAndre Russell was starting off at the beginning with you know getting stripped and all that. And another big thing is that um, when Zubac go for the block, you know what I mean? There's really nobody there to actually rebound or 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 or, or defend, you know, on a weak side help and stuff like that. Besides um, um, Nance, he did get a block in. That was like towards the end of the game, you know, like I think third quarter something like that. But before that, you know, uh, when Zubac go for a block or something like that, you know, they were actually, um, you know, making other plays. You know, they got a lot of inside plays. Um, a big thing is also, like I said, this is Zubac first, you know, um, game in the, um, in the U.S. So he's going to be a little bit rusty. You know what I mean? But like I told people, man, I think Zubac is going to be that future center. Um, the biggest thing that he probably had to work on is actually boxing out. But do know how to use his body. I mean, the dude, but I'm going to go down the list of just what I see. Cause they didn't play a lot of people, and the ones that did play, I'm not really gonna talk too much about them, cause they just gonna be guys who probably even get opportunity to go to um the the D League, cause I don't, like I said, we got one spot open, um and I really don't know who they gonna probably give that to, um it could be anywhere from Augusta August Augustus or um you know uh Jabari, but that's my opinion. I'm not I'm not too sure. But anyway, going to Anthony Brown. Anthony Brown played good D. He was aggressive. He took shots. You know, he got out on the break, and that was good. I like that. You know what I mean? Like I told people, get a brother a chance. Don't be so quick to, you know, to just bash him. Like I said, everybody put on that Byron Scott, um, you know, um, offense, you know. The guy looked pretty good. You know, even like I said, it's the first game. Zubak, decent. Like I said, he not used his body underneath the paint. Um, he got a couple good, um, you know, um, nice little hook shots off. Um, on top of that, you know, like I said, he had three blocks. He By him being in the middle... And him blocking shots, it made the Pelicans' offense that much more stagnant. They they couldn't even get in the middle. The only time they really get in the middle is that when they utilize Zubak to bring him out on bring him out on a uh, break, you know, went out on a break but off the off the box, so that when he goes to block a shot, like I said, you know, there's no weak side help that was coming over to help him, so guys were getting easy layup. But that was towards the end. But you know, they've already blown him out, so it didn't really matter. But that's something that I know Luke Walton's gonna definitely work on. You know, um, once like I said, once Zubak get comfortable. In the NBA level and stuff like that, this dude, I think this dude gonna be pretty good. Like I said, it's only one game, but I'm gonna go game by game. But I, like I said, I like the dude Zubak. I really like his game, man. Like I said, he was very aggressive on defense. He was getting out. He was switching off. You know what I mean? He wasn't being lazy. You know what I'm saying? So he was doing a lot of things, man. Like I said, by him putting that hands up and put the arms up, the body, giving people body, it made it harder for those guys to actually get into the interior paint. Besides when he was coming out to help on, um, you know, help out on um other players, you know, to block a shot or whatever. Then other other guys. When the opposing team will get like little layups or dunks, whatever you want to call it. But besides that, that was still good to me. You know what I mean? Like I said, his first game in there. Ingram, my gosh, dude. This dude, I hate to say it. I, I'm, I'm, I'm a big Brandon. I'm a big, I'm a big, <laughs> I'm a big um, Ben Simmons fan. You know what I'm saying? But my goodness, man. Oh, my gosh, dude. Oh, my goodness. I, 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 man, I'm about to smoke some crack. My goodness, dude. I'm about to get freaking high. Somebody give me a pipe. I'm about to smoke somebody's crack. That's how good this dude is, man. It's only one game. I know I'm getting a little crazy and all that, man. But just watching his game, dude, I mean, he put it on the floor. He gave a little shake and bake, took it to the rim, got a dunk, you know, put it on there, did a little, little you know, the, um, the undercut layup. Man, the, the guy, and he, I mean, he's shooting. I mean, the guy was, what, four for seven? You know, like like um, DeAndre Russell told him, you know, just told him, you know, you know, just, you know, be, you know, just um, be calm. And let the game come to you. Said and, uh, and DeAndre Russell came out and said that he's not even trying hard. You know what I mean? He was just playing because he wasn't really doing it. The dude only took seven shots and had ten points. Ten points. He had um, how many blocks the dude had? The dude had blocks. He had no. My bad. He had twelve points, 
two blocks. Um, he had one assist, though. He had one steal. He had four rebounds. And like I said, couldn't nobody really stick him. But he played within the team chemistry. You know what I mean? He didn't try to do too much or anything to show off, nothing like that. He's the right fit for the Lakers, man, at that small forward spot, man. And I believe he could play the two, too. And I also like what Luke Walton did. Because I was saying earlier that the Lakers need a big guard. Um, they play Anthony Brown at the two. So I guess they're going to try to um, watch and see how that developed, uh, playing Anthony Brown at the two, which is not a bad thing because Anthony Brown got good defense, man. And I told a lot of people, you sleep on that dude defense. Once he get um, aggressive on shots, I think he'll be all right as a defensive player. You don't look at him as a forward that's going to score all the time, but he'll be a good player when you need that, you know, that defensive presence, that, you know, that that, that man-on-man stop. And he did good. And I, I know I keep jumping back to, the, um, to Anthony Brown, but I was probably – I was. Real pleased about him playing that shooting guard spot, man. So I'm not really worrying about us getting a uh, big guard now because if they're going to um, try to utilize Anthony Brown to play the guard. That's good, man, because I think, you know, he'll be able to play the guard and the wing. Um, another thing, like I said, going back to Ingram, man, the guy, he was just phenomenal, man. I mean, like I know his first game, um, you know, but the guy just showed flashes of greatness, dude. I mean, seriously. And he even know it, like he said it himself. You know, he's really strong. You know, he's slim, but he's strong, and he's trying to really bulk up. I don't. I really don't want him to bulk up too much. Like, you know, it's okay to get, like, 20, 20 25 pounds, but not to the point where, you know, you get slow. I mean, because he's quick on his feet. My gosh, if anybody watched the game, the dude was quick on his feet. He can get to the basket whenever he wants to. I mean, he was just taking these guys for a for, for run, man. Um, Nance, woo! Y'all know I like Nance. I mean, if y'all find me on Mike Lakers Talk, I'm always in conversation talking about Larry Nance. And I say Larry Nance is just a utility player. Larry Nance was actually doing what Randall did in the uh, regular season. He was bringing the ball down, sometimes setting the offense, man. The dude had, what, three blocks, I think? How many blocks Larry Nance had? I don't want to get beyond myself. He had two blocks. Dude had 11 points. Um, He did two turnovers, but that don't even matter. Dude had nine rebounds. Dude was killing on the boards, man. Like I said, he got that one block where Zubak went for a, a block, and the, uh, and the guy passed the other guy, and, and, um, and the guy went to lay it up, and Larry Nance came out of nowhere and blocked it. And so did Brandon Ingram on a couple plays, man. I'm telling you, man, I like the idea that they're getting back on help defense. You know, they're being aggressive. You know, like I said, it's the first game. I believe I, these guys are hungry, man. And I'm just saying, I'm just being – you can call me biased all you want. I'm a big Lakers fan, but I know talent when I see it. And I think I told people over and over again. And even if – like, going back to Dury Nance, man, like I said, the dude knocked down the three, hit a jumper. He's – right now he already showing that he's going to be aggressive. All them guys going to be aggressive. Excuse me about that. I was digging up my nose while I was talking. I'm my bad. But anyway, all them guys is going to be aggressive, man. And that's beautiful, man. I mean, like, seriously. Like, like I'm sitting there watching, like, man, wow. I'm, I'm, I'm watching Larry Nance again. I'm watching him, you know, put the ball, you know, on the floor. You know what I mean? Bring it down, you know, sh shooting jumpers, getting layups. I'm like, that's what I like. And I'm liking that and, and, and seeing that in Larry Nance. Um, I thought um, Tariq Black was going to be here, but I must I was uh, misinformed, but I guess he wasn't. Um. Like I said, DeAndre Russell, man, there's nothing really bad to say about him. Like I said, he started off, you know, sluggish at the beginning, but dude turned the freaking lights on. I mean, God dang. I mean, like I told you, he did he did his freaking thing, man. I mean, seriously, he controlled the offense. He had six assists. Because I was saying to myself, like, early, like, man, you got to get everybody else, you know, in the flow of the offense. But he, he, he wound up doing it after a while. Like, you know, he got a little feel for the game. He could score whenever he wanted, he wanted to score. And like I said before, I was telling somebody earlier about a big guard backing down a little guard. Prime example. Uh, D'Angelo Russell was, um, I think D'Angelo was 6'5", and he was playing the guy. I can't think of who the guy he was playing. The guy was, um, it was a point guard. I can't really tell. I think the guy was probably like, he was, I know he was shorter than D'Angelo Russell. And D'Angelo Russell kept backing him down, shooting over him. And that's what I was talking about earlier about um, the difference between, you know, a, a, a guard with height and a guard like a 6'3", 6'2", 6'1", guard playing a 6'5", 6'6", 6'7", guard. He's going to shoot him all the time. And D'Angelo Russell took that to advantage. You know what I mean? Um... And I was real happy with him, man. Like I say, he slowed down. You know, they, they really got into the Miffy offense. They blew this team out. I'm happy, man. I mean, seriously, going into, you know, the summer league, beating, you know, winning your first game by a blowout, that that makes one. That, that I'm, I'm happy about that, dude. I mean, I'm I'm I'm, I'm, I'm gonna talk about uh, Jabari Brown. He he came out, you know, being, you know, he was too aggressive. He started taking too many shots. Like, you know, he didn't really have to take too many shots, but he was taking shots, and then he wanted to settle down in the offense. Got it going. Looked it pretty good, you know what I mean? He got um he got beat on on um defense a couple of times, but he, he recovered. So I'm not, you know, that it was you know pretty good for Jabari. Um, Augustus, very aggressive, very aggressive, but I don't think that they're going to really bring him in because they got enough big men. So I, I, you know, he might they might be able to put him up on the D league. He looked like a real aggressive guy. Um, looked pretty good, you know. He I took a jump shot, didn't really, you know, didn't really it hit off the backboard. It was like a brick. 
um, something that he got to work on, his jumpers. But, you know, the guy, like I said, he's real aggressive on defense. Um, he did, you know, did pretty good rebounding. Um, the guy, Mumford, uh, pretty good, man. But like I said, then they, you know, he had a kind of uh, mistakes. But keep this in mind, guys. This is the summer league. These guys never played together. So that's a big up, really, because most of you guys, like I said, never played together, and they look good like they play together. And I'm going to tell you all, man, like I said, don't sleep on this dude, Zubac. Once this dude get comfortable in the NBA level, he's going to be the next big thing. I don't care what nobody say. I'm being biased. Zubat look good, man. I'm telling you, once the guy get aggressive, I mean, not be aggressive, once the guy get used to the NBA level, um, like I said, learn how to box out, you know what I mean, and like it be a little bit more physical on the boards. Wow, I'm telling you, this guy's going to be pretty decent, man. The guy had a turnaround jumper, he, and y'all see him shoot a jumper, right? And, um, you know, it didn't count, though, but the dude said he could shoot a jumper, just his coach never – um. Never, excuse me, never allowed them to based on the fact that they just wanted to play inside. So there's going to be plays where he's going to be doing pick and rolls where he's going to be taking a jump shot. I already see that coming. So game one, my grade from a, um, um, uh, one out of ten, I give them, for the first time playing together, I give them a ten. I'm just being honest with you. I'm not being biased. For the first time these guys playing together, they looked it good. Simple as that, man. Like I said the other day, and this is me being biased again and I'm about to go. Look. Put Lou Dang on the bench. Put Moscow on the bench. Let them young boys run, man. Serious. We were 17 and 65 last year. What can it hurt to be 25 or 30, you know, to win 30 games? You know what I mean? At the end of the day, this is this is going to be the um, our youth movement anyway. You know, y'all in the rebuilding stage, so why not let them young boys run, man? You know, let Lou Dang and Moscow come to the bench. You want to give them $50,000, million, zillion dollars, or a billion dollars, two elephants in a tree trunk? Give it to them. I don't give two cents, but let them young boys run, man. I was happy to see them boys get out there on the brace and run. With that being said, it's your man, Urban Lover. I get in the comment section. If you watch the game, man, let me um, share a little bit about what you think and what you've seen um, and what you expect from these guys. Keep in mind, though, guys, don't be so hard on them. It's only game one. With that being said, it's your man, Urban Lover. Like, share, subscribe. Y'all be safe out there. Have a blessed one.